open software by choosing template draw rectangle the dimensions 3 feet by 8 feet use push pull tool click on the face 6 and 6 inches orbit once again select rectangle tool draw rectangle on all bottom four corners with the dimensions 3 inches by sorry 6 inches by 6 inches Use push pull tool. Click in the face. Six center. Six inches. Do it in all four corners. Orbit. Let's select offset tool from the toolbar or you can select from main menu tools offset click on the face six center six inches offset use eraser tool click on the edge use line tool Draw lines. Use push pull tool. Click in the face. 1.5 feet. Enter. Use eraser tool. Click on unwanted edges. Select arc tool, two point arc, draw arc on that face, click the two points, two end points, and radius. Repeat the arc to other side. Use push pull tool and remove the part. Do it other side. When you click on circle, when you try to click. Each individual face and edges are selecting. So let's double click, right click, make group. Once we make group, in a single click, we can select the whole object and we can move the whole object. If you want to edit, we have to double click inside, then we can individually select each edge or face. Click outside to come out of the group. In the default tray, we have an outliner window.
here is the outliner so this is the group if you don't find go to window default tray outliner on the group is indicated by small square box black color square box now let's create cushion draw rectangle with the dimensions 1 feet 6 inches by 2 feet to fill out the four corners let's take help of reference uh, tape measure tool main menu tools tape measure click on the edge drag right side 3 enter 3 inches click on that side edge click on that side edge 3 enter 3 inches create these guidelines on all four columns then use arc tool and draw a arc like that Now we need to delete all guidelines and the extra part of the shape. Let's use eraser tool and click on all guidelines and the extra lines to remove. Oops, we deleted the group control set. Let's repeat erase. Use push pull, click on the face, drag upside to end up two inches. In a single click, we are able to select one face or edge. Let's triple click, right click, make component. The default name is component one, create. we made a component so far we made a group the difference between a group and a component uh, you will understand this in a two minutes if you want to edit a component you have to double click to edit just like a group double click Individually select each face and edges. Let's copy the component. Use Moodle using control. Move the cushion. Multiply two times. Two copies. Using shift, select the three of them. Once again use Moodle, move it aside. Let's individually select one option and move in my axis direction. Click horizontally and rotate downwards as 
we rotate, use control to make a call. Rotate ninety degrees. Use move tool. Move them forward. Move them downward. A little bit rotation. Use rotate tool. Click on the face. Click horizontally. Slightly rotate. Then move backwards. Our so fan cushions are ready. Go to paint bucket tool. Let's go to carpet and fabrics. Let's apply the texture. You can do number of trial and error methods. You can check a different textures. Minimize the materials. Now I will explain group and component difference. We have six components, the discussions, one group that is sofa. To explain the group and component difference, let's make a copy of sofa group. Now, mm, let's edit the question. Component. Question is a component. We are using push pull. We are increasing the depth of question. If we edit one cushion, all six cushions were edited. That is because cushion is a component. If we edit one component, the copied component will be edited. But coming to the group, if we edit this sofa group, other group is not edited. This is the difference between group and the component. 